Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more Bible stories for you. We'll be talking about a woman in the Bible named Lydia. L-Y-D-I-A. This is her Bible story. This is from March the 17, 2024. Also look in the description box for more information. Let's begin about Lydia. Acts chapter 16 tells Lydia's story. Following her baptism, she opened up her household to Paul, he co-workers in the new Christian congregation. The research literature supports the idea that Lydia acted as a benefactory of the church in line with the Roman model of patronage. The story of Lydia in the Bible offers a helpful model for Christian leadership, influence, and right living. Lydia came from Titeria, a city in the western province of Lydia in Asia Minor. Her name originally might have been the designation of her home, a woman of Lydia. At the time, Lydia met Paul. She lived in Philippi, a leading city of Macedonia on the European continent. As a wealthy and influential businesswoman, Lydia sold articles dyed purple, a prize color made from certain molars, a respectable and lucrative trade. She had spacious home that would that could accommodate many guests and servants to meet their needs. They had to be aware she met in her day. Yes, I think it is about me. She surely must have been a hardworking, bold, intelligent woman to achieve the success she enjoyed. Yes, she did. Tiring purple. Archers of the Lefines have shed new light upon the purple dye industry in the Midian wall. The purple material was the most desirable and expensive, partially due to its colorfulness. This tiring purple was wool colored with a dye made from tiny Michiganian molars. Additional methods of purple dyeing usually plants and other materials were developed. Tartaria was the center for, the, for this purple dye industry. Thus Lydia, may have, thus Lydia may have been a dealer in the Titeria purple cloth, or she may have been an important of the maybe in a she may have been an importer of the royal Tyrene purple. Either way, she was a smart and probably wealthy businesswoman. One Sabbath day, which is Saturdays, Lydia went to the river shore that had been designated by the Roman authorities of Philippi as a place of prayer and worship for the Jews. There she met Paul and Silas, who had been in Philippi only a short time. While others along the river may have rejected Paul's words about Jesus, Lydia accepted them and became a believer. Acts 16, 14. Once she believed, she made a confession of her faith to the whole world through baptism, and then she assembled her entire household, told them what had happened to her, and asked them to believe. After her, after her entire household accepted Christ as Savior and was baptized, Lydia invited Paul and Silius to stay in her home. Acts 16, 15. When Paul and Silius were thrown into a Philippine prison, Lydia visited them and attended to their needs. Her house became the meeting place of the first European church. Lydia was quick to perceive that what had been hers before her conversion, home, business, and possessions, now belong to the Lord. Oh, that's why I'm kidding. That's why I don't I don't, that's why I can't have have that's why I can't have my time to myself. Okay, I understand now. She had a new partner, the Lord Jesus, a new purpose to serve him, and a new satisfaction, seeking to be effective and successful in order to glorify the Lord. Lydia's career aspiration did not hinder her sharing the gospel with family and friends after she was not too busy to take time for hospitality. Acts 16, 15, Lydia's influence made a mark on generations to come, and Lydia's name appears in scripture only Christ. She was seemingly the first Gentile convert in Europe and the first believer to open her home as a worship center for European Christians. This benefited not only Paul and the early church, 
but also the lives of future generations of believers. Her life was a model of determination, foresight, and generosity that offers encouragement to us today. Okay, y'all, so that is Lydia Bible story. In the description box for more. She was raped, okay? But, um, this on the article I could find. But then when I was doing some more research on her, I seen that it said she was raped. Then when they say something about her being baptized, that means she got raped or something like that, okay? But y'all look in the description box, okay? Enjoy.